Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Yes, we are on the road to Ultra Nightmare. The free to play challenge is in effect. I've got my coffee here. I did a really fun collab with uh, Ash yesterday. So uh, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. We talk about the new dungeons and the new arena, live arena stuff that's coming down the pipeline. Then we kind of just theory craft a little bit. It was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoy that person. Um, people are always asking, why isn't Ash a part of this thing or that thing? It's like the, literally the busiest guy I know, which is saying something because I know some busy, busy people, but he's like always, always running off to do two or three things and we're both talkers. So it's really hard to actually uh, find time to connect and see this stuff, but it's always a pleasure. Um, but yeah, it was really, really cool. Definitely worth checking out. But today we've got a very, very busy couple days ahead of us here on the free to play, like a real real busy couple days and I think incredibly impactful um so I want to get into all that but before there's something there's two things I need to talk to you guys about uh two really really important things the first really important thing is we're looks like we're getting maintenance in a little bit here the first really really important thing this coffee blend is fantastic um I cocoa powder amazing cinnamon yes always and I added a little cayenne pepper People were saying chili powder. I don't have any chili powder. Add a little cayenne pepper. It is a nice little touch. Uh, the turmeric's just for me. I feel like it's a little healthier. Uh, but this is good. I'm telling you guys, cocoa powder in your coffee. Ooh. Delicious. It's almost like a hot chocolate, like a coffee chocolate. It's delicious. The cinnamon gives it a little bit of a little bit of funk to it. And uh, yeah, the cayenne pepper actually works really well. It takes out a lot, really all the bitterness. And uh, I can't even really taste it, but I can kind of feel it in there. So. Kind of, it's kind of nice, guys. The other important thing I want to talk to you guys about is Soundstripe. Now, you guys know I have music in all my videos, and I've been doing this for years now. And a lot of you guys really enjoy it. I always really enjoy it. Um, provides a little pacing to the videos, a little funk going on. And I'm always telling you guys, if you are interested in the music, I have a Soundstripe link down below in the pinned comment description of this video, like all my videos, because I really do enjoy the music. It is something I listen to on my own time. Uh, I'd say this all the time on stream. The cool thing is they have changed a little bit what they're doing and, you know, Soundstripe is a great place to get, you know, copyright free music, um, basically not copyright free music, but when you sign up for their, for their program, basically you can put their stuff on your videos like I do. I don't ever have to worry about copyright. It's guaranteed for life of that video that I'm not gonna get copyright strike. The music's great. They have a lot, wide range of styles and now they're offering a month free. So not only can you use my code Deadwood Jedi, like I said, I have in that link uh, down below and save yourself 15%, but you get to try it out. There's like a test month, which is I think really cool way to see, is this something you wanna try? When I first started doing this, I had to like go from music site to music site to try to find the music that would work for me. And you just don't really know. You don't really know what their library is. You don't know what the things they offer. Downstripe offers a lot of stuff like sound effects, you know, some uh, uh, stock video footage and things like that. So they offer quite a range of stuff that you all can use that I use in my videos. And so uh, I just wanted to recommend that to you guys. So make sure to go check that out. It's definitely, I think, worth checking out, right? It doesn't cost you anything, which is the best part. So if you're a creator like me, it can be a really, really good option. Those are the two important things. But let's get into the free to play and talk about why it's so busy for the next couple days here, the number one reason, the number one reason it's gonna be so busy is of course we have a dragon tournament going on. And you all know my dragon team is top notch. In fact, I think maybe the most important reason why my team is being so successful. I mean, obviously I've gotten some good champions, but it's not like I've had ungodly drops, right? Good, but not like out of this world good. Um, but the biggest reason is the gear that I have on my account and the gear on my account has been turned out to be really well Now I've had a farm a lot of it. So it's not all God tier, but like look at these boots 20% crit rate I mean amazing, right? Uh, look at these gloves What crit damage? I mean, I would like those crit damage gloves on my main account, right? Um, I've had some really really good drops. This is why Elba is the speed she's at 
This is great HP, right? I love that. Uh, you know, the those aren't very good, but you know, getting speed on the weapon, speed on the helmet. And this is the thing. It's not like even these drops are that insane. But the thing is, is that by farming Dragon 20, I'm able to get gear that can really improve my team. So at 260 speed Elva, it's very attainable with the right pieces on. Now, the biggest thing about this is that I need to get my Venom Age and I need to get my Jaw Reg up to about 240 speed, a little bit less, like 236, 237 speed or the speed tune I want to do for Clan Boss, which means I'm going to have to put a lot of speed on them. We're talking about like another 30 speed or so on each of them. Not this is not going to be easy for me to do. And so I'm 100% going to need accuracy, speed, perception gear with good substats. And the only way I'm going to get that is by farming it, right? So obviously I can get some perception drops by forging it. Uh, but really what I'm going to need are those speed sets and those accuracy sets with double speed rolls on them, triple speed rolls on them, hopefully, right? Uh, with the right main stats and all that stuff. So it's going to take some work. And that's why I'm super excited about Dragon right now. And as you can see, I do have a fair amount of energy. I actually have a ton of gems saved up too. I've been kind of debating upgrading my gem mine, but I'm going to kind of see how this uh, farm for the next couple days goes here in Dragon first. Um, and I think, you know, if I can get them up to speed, all of a sudden I might actually have that chance to hit Ultra Nightmare. Now, the other part of that team, and another reason why I'm so busy right now, is because I need to get Elva some more legendary books, right? Her stuff is on a four turn cooldown still. I need that last book here to get this speed buff down to a three turn cooldown. I wouldn't mind this extra book to get the revive a little sooner too, but it's mostly for this A2 ability. Well, I have kind of two avenues to it. One of them I'm probably not going to do, and that's this challenge, right? I do, I kind of forgot about these, honestly, but I can upgrade a Force Champion to rank six. Now, the only Force Champion I have that's worth that would be Dahi. Definitely worth it. But I'm not sure that's the next champion I want to upgrade to rank six, right? And I want to be very careful about that until I have enough food where I can do multiple champions. I'm going to be a little bit judicious about that. So that's probably not the next one I'm going to be doing here. The next one I probably would be the thing I'm probably going to be relying on. I've been focusing on are my missions and I've been pumping out the missions lately all the way. I have what almost I'm almost there to getting two more legendary skill tones, which would fully book my elbow, which is what I want. So what do I need to do to be 100 champions in classic arena, which is amazingly hard because a lot of times I have to fight one man teams It's really difficult. But other than that, all this stuff is very doable. Superior potions from the spirit keep. I'm already doing the spirit keep. No problem. Superior potions from the force keep. I'm already well past that on force keep too. void keep. Yep. I'm hitting 20 on that. Everything else is locked up. Fire Knight. I'm already hitting stage 20 on that. Fighter's Den. Uh, this is stage 10. I need five or six star banner. I just need to win one. So yeah, it might take a little bit of time, but I can do that. Demon Lord, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna knock that one out, no problem. And then fuse relic keeper, I have all the pieces ready to go. So basically, my biggest hurdle right now is arena, and then the timing of the dungeon keeps being open. And once all that's done, Elva will be fully booked. So within a week, I think, I think within a week, I should be able to do this. Now the big thing is obviously getting this done getting the arena stuff done before Sunday because that's the void keep and that's the only day it's open. And so I need to definitely get it done before then so I can finish that part of the mission. Although I have to get to that part of the mission. It might be a little trickier than I'm thinking actually now that I, now that I think about it because I got to do spirit and I got to do force. This could be really annoying actually. But you know, I'm making my way. I've only had that, that new dun arena mission open for a day and I'm kind of spamming it. I'm kind of refreshing it as often as I can. Um, so Force Keep opens Friday, Spirit Keep opens Thursday. Okay, so I got to do it by Thursday. Thursday's the goal. If I can do it by Thursday, then I can get the Spirit Keep, and then I can do the Force Keep on Friday, and then Void Keep Sunday. That means by the weekend is over, by this time next week, Elva should be fully booked, and I can start actually building my champions for the speed tune, which means getting them to the appropriate speed, changing their gear up for that, farming the specific pieces I need. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one that comes out. And of course, if you enjoyed today's music, we have that Soundstripe link down below in the pinned comment description of this video, and you can use code DeadwoodJedi to save 15%. Looking promising. 
looking promising. So, but as you can tell, we're a long way away from that. Um, I need the gear. I definitely need the gear. And another thing I really would like to get is good stalwart pieces, because one of the things that's going to happen with my speed tune, when I was testing this on my main account, I had jaw reg in reflex gear. I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough reflex gear to win this bet with YST. So I'm going to have to put jaw reg into some kind of fairly normal stuff, right? Speed gear, accuracy gear, and so in order to do that, Elva's not going to be protected. Literally half the hits, Elva won't be protected. So what do I do when she doesn't have increased defense? She doesn't have ally protection. The answer is stalwart gear. I can put Elva in stalwart gear, but the hard part is I still have to maintain the speeds that we're at. So I can do this, but it's going to be tricky, right? And I'm going to need some better pieces. So again, dragon, hugely important, right? I, I can I think I can get there. I'm actually yeah, like I was looking at the gear that I do have and it would be pretty close. Um, we definitely drop some stats along the way. We're still a little bit short on speed, but I think we can get where we need to. So, you know, this is going to be the goal. This is the idea here. I need to get stalwart gear to get Elva at a pretty darn good speed, like 250 ish speed, 248, 250 in stalwart. I need to get draw reg and venom mage to a tanky level and a sustain level but also at like 237 speed and then i'm probably gonna once i do that then i'm gonna have to look at ronda and see okay can i can i build her a little bit tankier so all that stuff's going on i think it's all really important really big the other thing i've been doing though is i have all this food i've just been like for a while now i've just been kind of grinding up these champions i have just to the next level and i finally started using them to upgrade some champions so not only did I upgrade Kale to five star a couple days ago, right? And I, I like that, you know, going to be helpful. Five star, I think, is a very good spot to be at. Six star is a little bit different question, but five star is great right now. I also upgraded Gembo to five star. I upgraded Jizo to five star. Uh, Jizo is definitely going to be helpful for Hydra. We talked about this yesterday, and that's definitely something I want to do. Um, Gembo obviously for arena and if I have to change Ronda's build I might need Gembo as actually a second uh, damage dealer or primary damage dealer so both of these are good options I think uh, I've been booking still booking Ugo still not you know need a lot of books for Ugo but we're still getting there um, I think Dahi will probably be my next five star champion on the account that I have right now and then it comes down to who do I feel like taking up the six star or do I get somebody from these sacred shards that I have coming up? I do have enough food. I've got one, two, three, plus two five-star chickens. So I can take one more champion to six star. I'm just waiting for the right one. And we'll wait until after the sacred star uh, 2X event to see who that is. Unless I get unless I get enough, unless I get enough chickens to upgrade two champions to six star. And then then we might we might uh, branch out a little bit. But these are the things that um I have planned. So you can tell it's a lot that we have going on. Uh good stuff but it's a lot of stuff you know it might be that we just get really lucky right now and get my legendary book no okay it's epic epic book's good epic book but we might get my legendary okay it's not a legendary book again okay fine. that's fine that's fine that's cool 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 oh man flat stats that's so disappointing all right well you know that's we're, we're making progress here doing a little bit at a time okay so we're getting some interesting you know decent stuff out of this not bad but yeah this is the big this is the big thing. I'm just gonna toss in a run while we're while we're all here chatting about this. But yeah, the big thing is I'm really excited about this. I gotta I, I'm really excited actually to finish those missions. I we there's people already in this clan that have gotten Arbiter, which is like mind blowing to me. But if we can get through this stage here, we're actually pretty close. We're literally like one step away. And I wouldn't be surprised if we by the two months part, by the 60 day uh marker. If we're really close to being able to get Arbiter, we might even have her. I, that, that's a lot for me. I'm not, that's not my main focus and goal. So I'm not sure how, how much like I'm excited to do that part of it. Um, but obviously getting a champion like Arbiter would be pretty game changing because that becomes your arena lead. You get a huge speed boost. Uh, it brings increased attacks. So your damage dealers are hitting harder. I wouldn't be relying on Elva in that at that point right we have a much bigger speed aura anyway that's really big so there are a lot of benefits to getting an arbiter on my team i can start to specialize my champions 
for different areas of the game, um, which would be which would be good. I'd love to build Elva. I'd love to not have to worry about Elva being my fastest champion or my arena champion and really focus on her for clan boss, for Doom Tower, that kind of thing. And so getting somebody like Arbiter in the mix would, would be a pretty nice uh, addition for my squad. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. But, you know, the Valerie thing, it's it's intrigued me. I don't know. Again, I'm still hoping to, you know, a lot of people suggested, hey, what about Hellborn Sprite? I would love a Hellborn Sprite. Instantly would go in for El for uh, Valerie for my clan boss team. Instant, instant change. Valerie would become yet another five star food piece. Um, so there's definitely some some things that I would like to do to be able to make this team more effective um, and work a little better for me. But obviously, you know, step by step kind of process right now. And we're, we're just not there at, as yet. Right. Um, but yeah, Hellborn Sprite, Sandless Survivor, even a God Seeker Nier, all those would be big upgrades over Valerie. And I would love to have any of them on my on my squad. Anchorite, I, I'm not as I'm not as keen on Anchorite just personally, but obviously bring, you know, increased, I think increased crit rate, increased crit damage, something like that would definitely be nice and allow me to build my champions a little bit tougher than I would or, um, you know, a little bit tougher while maintaining the same kind of crit rate. Or improving our crit rate and that could definitely be beneficial as well so there's definitely you know some options as far as how we can uh, continue to build this team forward and i'm really looking forward to that and i'm hopeful very hopeful that by that 60 day mark we're going to have that four key on on uh, ultra nightmare but you know it's hard honestly i thought i might be there by now and it's uh it's proving harder than i was considering you know not only do the legendary books do i need those for elva and that's definitely a big thing but also getting the right champions getting the right gear uh is such a huge hurdle right getting jar reg that fast and still to be tanky enough to have ally protection on everybody uh, that's not an easy that's not an easy call um you know i'm glad i was able to put toxic on valerie and i think that's going to be a really nice addition um but you know i still don't have accuracy on my ronda and that's going to be a big thing uh venom age i gotta get fast and tanky that's going to be and have the accuracy that's going to be tough so there's definitely a lot of hurdles a lot of hurdles and not being able to farm stage 20 of spiders is definitely hurting us six star accessories especially banners such a nice addition um, and right now being stuck at stage 10 is really a problem. I really could use an HP burn champion. We're still about 70 days away from Drexar, so that's not happening anytime soon. Um, but having an HP burn champion that I could, you know, attack spiders with, or even like a max HP, like a cold heart, Royal Guard would be really, really valuable. Um, so we're a little bit, we're still a little bit behind on that. I think I might, it might be almost time to start pushing spider a little bit i know we get a lot of five star gear from there but i think it might be worth it to start pushing a little bit higher and trying to get one of the higher stages maybe if we can get to like 17 or something we'll get more four star gear but we'll also get some six star gear and that could be really beneficial so we'll just kind of have to see but that's where we're at right now i feel pretty good about the progress of everything at the moment I'm just really excited to kind of start farming and grinding dragon, which is kind of what what my my the next few uh, the next day or two is going to be is grinding the heck out of dragon, trying to find some pieces that I can really use on these champions to get our speed up, get our accuracy up. I need both of those things, um, and it could be really really beneficial for our squad. So that's really what I'm focused on right now, um, trying to do, and obviously you know, hopefully continue to. Uh, Continue to two key nightmare, one key brutal. It's a good place to be at. It's really good. It's really good. I don't have any sugar in this one. It's still delicious. Amazing. Oh, you know, big change. I took out the nutmeg. That's that's the big difference with this one. I think that I don't I don't think I want the nutmeg anymore. I think I think anti I'm anti nutmeg. I'm no nutmeg. It's a no nutmeg march. That doesn't not really doesn't really work there um yeah i think that's gonna be a thing i might i definitely gonna have to try some vanilla that's gonna be a thing we'll see if that adds a little something but this is really good it's really good i like mochas a lot so this is kind of kind of fitting into that that whole vibe the whole mocha vibe this is really fitting into that so 
Very cool. Well, this run, I mean, we're going to get our two key. We always do. So I'm not going to make you folks sit here and watch all of it with me. Though, I mean, it's it's, it's a pretty, pretty glorious thing watching these champions do their work. A lovely group. Definitely a lovely group. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you sticking by. We got a lot coming up. So definitely interested to see how this all pans out. What kind of gear I'm able to pull. We'll have some uh, some fun gear gear show off uh videos i'm sure coming forward and make sure to go check out that video i did with ash that was a really really fun time uh talking to him you guys didn't like the collab so we're gonna keep trying to get those pumping out to you folks but that's all we got for today um been a pleasure as always talking with you hopefully you enjoyed your coffee as much as i did mine and until next we meet in the deadwood jedi